and welcome back to Skyrim. Last time we gained access to Oriel's temple. And here we see something very disturbing. The Falmer. They're all frozen. Now direction. Oh, it just came to life. Oh. Do you need something? If you think it'll help. Yeah, I think it will. What does his male direction do? Oh, it's just soul trap. Whatever. Looks like there are offerings to Oriel here. Yeah, you bet you're taking all of these. Well, most anyway. The magic isn't very useful to me, not a magic user. Another elven sword. This is just disturbing. I mean, look at this. Staff of Ice Pines. That's a little ironic if you ask me. Then again, Snow Elf. The fact they're frozen in... in some kind of death-like state. Oh, well that was a... colossal waste. It's this way you're supposed to go, I just didn't notice this. Now a lot of these things... They will come to life. And when they do, it's pretty damn terrifying. Scroll of Grand Healing, that's going to be useful. Now I can't take anything. The problem is we have to I still have to pick up Oriel's bow. Okay, I just came from there. This way. More skeletons. This is a disturbing scene. Over here. More ice. Oriel's Chapel. This place is a pantheon to the old gods. And it looks as though we found him. Yes. Ooh, frame rate. You. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's Whoa. bow? Whoa, frame rate. You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? It would seem so. Is at an end. Oh boy. Uh. Where'd you put them? Now, luckily, the frozen variants of these things are really easy to kill and are very weak. Sarasrana. Display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Bring it on. Watch out! He's falling down the ceiling. Oh. Um. 
Now he is. You know, you're the one that told me to watch out, and you're the one that got hit by that. Oh, Frost has been on. Well, Werther, no. what else have you got? What the? Ha! You missed! Come on, Mr. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. And thus the light of Oriel shines down. We confront him, cornered and afraid. Enough, Bertha. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I have the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. <laughs> Gelibor, Savage. Are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're, you're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Good luck with that, buddy. Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? How? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Well, damn, Serana, you're just... Yeah, sure. That's somewhat ironic. An ancient Falmer armor. Yeah, I'm taking all that. Hey, Saran, got something for you. Do you need something? Yes, I want to give you some armor, but it looks like I have to wait till we get through all this. I must speak with Gelibor, who, with him dead, the way shrine opened up here. Hello, Gelibor. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled them. A vampire? I see. Now that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. I think you're being pretty naive. I felt that way. And it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow. And in turn, you've restored the Chantry. 
I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Okay. Let's get that bow. Touching the Please sky. Take the bow. It's yours. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. <laughs> Still, it's beautiful. It is. What do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. If we do, he'll he will have to die. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's amazing, but I don't think we have much of a choice. No, this has to end here and now. Then let's face him. Together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're going to be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. I trust you're very well. Yeah. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least something? I can do. If you think it'll help. Here. Yeah, that did a lot. That's gonna be very useful. But for now, I want you to take the Nightingale bow. Just hold on to that for now. Are you ready? Oh, wait, I need to give you the armor too. Yes. Some ancient Falmer armor. I think it looks good on you. Are you ready for this? I don't think you can ever be ready to kill your parent. I'm doing my best to not think of him as my father anymore. Let me know if you ever need anything. We've got enough to worry about right now. You stay focused, and I'll worry about me. If this, it's good to speak to you again. What will happen to the Chantry? Why do good fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory? That time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. Then I'm contributed to your kind's extinction. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Perhaps. that I didn't exactly give you the option to stay in your hand. No, he really didn't. What will you do then? For the time being, I will remain here on the Overlord and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. Do you think the betray can be cured? I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond the cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. And it would take many generations for them to return to what you are. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. What can you tell me about Oriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, 
but is especially devastating to the undead. Verther said something about using blood. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. How can I obtain these sun hallowed arrows? I can actually. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time. Absolutely. I can only do 20. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time. One more. Absolutely. I can only do 20 oh, okay. at a time. So if you want the rest what of the is blessed. Verther said something about vampire blood and the bow. It sounds like that's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt. Sure. Do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. Let's just get this over with. Okay, I don't want to do that I once. I don't want to take abuse of this. I'm just curious what that actually does. I've never done it myself. I think I should have to shoot directly into the sun with it. Yes. Well then. That's going to last for a day. If I trust your faring well. That's... Very disturbing. But that's the end of this one. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time as we travel to back to the back to whatever it's called, Fort Belengard, and speak with Isron. As we can face the vile Harkon. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.